Question 11 from Section 2 of the 2019 Higher Physics SQA exam. Diamonds sparkle because light that enters the diamond is reflected back to an observer. We can see the diagram there of the rays of light coming in from air and into the diamond and being uh, refracted and reflected. Now, for three marks, we're told to calculate the angle of refraction theta you can see on the diagram. Now, a ray of monochromatic light is incident on a diamond at an angle of 49.0 degrees. So there you have the angle of incidence. The refractive index of the diamond for this light is 2.42, so you're told the refractive index of it. So to calculate the angle of refraction, all we have to do is remember to look up the data book and have that equation handy. The refractive index is sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2. And in this case, we're going to use theta 1 to be the angle in the air. So this will be theta 1 here. That's the angle in the air. And theta 2 will be this angle in here. So that's the angle we're looking after. So that will be theta 2. And that will be the angle inside the diamond from the normal. Remember, all angles are measured from the normal. So back to your calculation again then. So sine theta 1 this time. We know that sine theta 1, sine theta 1 is the ang sine of the angle between uh, the normal and the ray which is coming in from the air. So that's going to be equal to sine of 49 degrees, 49.0 degrees. And we know that sine theta 2 is going to be the angle between the normal and the ray of light once it's inside the diamond and it's been refracted. That's the refracted ray. That would be sine of theta and that's what we're after. So we have sine 49 degrees divided by sine theta has got to go to the refractive index which is 2.42. Now if we cross multiply we're going to have sine 49 degrees is going to equal to 2.42 multiplied by sine of theta which is what we're looking for. So we divide both sides by the 2.42 divided by 2.42 and that should give us a sign of the angle of refraction and we work that out we get that uh, this answer here is 0 0.312 and that's equal to sine theta we take the inverse of the answer here 0 0.312 and we end up with theta has got to be equal to 18.2 degrees so we've now found the angle of refraction, 18.2 degrees. 11 part B. Calculate the critical angle of the diamond for this ray of light. Now to calculate the critical angle, we must remember to look up our data sheets and have this equation here. Sine of the critical angle equals 1 divided by the refractive index of the material. And we know the refractive index of the material N is equal to 2.42 for diamond. So therefore all we have to do is put in the numbers sine theta critical is going to equal to 1 divided by 2.42. So therefore sine theta critical, when we do this in a calculator, is going to equal to 0 0.413. And we take the inverse of uh, the sine to give us theta critical is going to equal to 24 0.4 degrees and that's us keeping to three significant figures simple be equation to use and it's going to gain you three marks question 11 continued part c moissanite is a transparent material with a greater refractive index than diamond a sample of moissanite is made into the same shape as the diamond states whether the sample of moissanite sparkles more or less than the diamond and we must justify our answer well, to do with the refractive index, and of course the sparkle in any material is due to the greater possibility of, of the rays totally internally reflecting inside the material. So let's go back to one of the experiments we did before with a semicircular glass block. Let's pretend this is a glass semicircular glass block of diamond, and there is a critical angle shown. So the ray of light enters here, and if it's at this angle it will be totally internally reflected. Now we can use a protractor to measure that angle. We can put it on like that. And we can see that any angle between here and there 
is going to be less than the critical angle, which means the ray of light is going to refract out of the glass block. So in this case, if we have a ray of light greater than that angle, then it's not going to refract out. It's going to be totally internally reflected. So all these angles here have got the possibility of total internal reflection. So we'll just remember that angle. And that's all the possible angles that will give total internal reflection. We'll just keep that there and remind ourselves. Now let's look a wee bit at the maths of this. Um, we know that the critical angle, the sine of the critical angle, sine theta c, is equal to 1 upon the refractive index n. Now we're told that the refractive index from Wassenite is actually bigger than diamond. So if you make the refractive index bigger, then it's obvious that you're going to have a bigger number on the denominator. So therefore, sine critical angle is going to become smaller, which in turn will imply that the critical angle for moissanite is smaller than diamond. Now we can rehearse that with uh, this diagram here. This could be the material block made of moissanite, and you can see the critical angle is now a lot smaller. And likewise, once again, we can put a protractor here, and we can say that any angle between here and here will leave the block, will leave the moissanite, and refract out, so you won't get total internal reflection. But any angle from here all the way up to here have got the possibility of total internal reflection. For example, one here would reflect from there down to there because the angle from here up to there is bigger than the critical angle. So therefore, the possible angles which moissanite will in total in turn reflect is this angle here. And you can see it's a bigger angle. There's more angles, a bigger range of angles in moissanite that will totally in turn reflect than diamond. And therefore, if you get more angles making the ability to, to totally internal reflect, you're going to create more sparkle. So therefore, the one that creates the more sparkle is moissanite because of how I've described it there. Mm -hmm.